What is the difference between a rich person and a poor person? This is a question that has been asked for centuries and there are many different answers. It is important to note that the answer to this question is not always the same from person to person. Some people believe that a rich person is someone who has more money than a poor person. Others believe that it's someone who has more than they need and the poor are those who have less than they need. You don't have to be a genius to know the following money skills. In this video, I'm going to show you the 7 smart ways to make money work for you. If you really want to make money work for you, you have to start by investing. Remember this. Life is full of uncertainty, we've just got to learn to live with it, right? And we all want to get financial independence throughout our lives. So I encourage you to consider investing as one of the main methods to stop working for money and make money work for you. Now if you want to discover how to do this in the safest way possible, I recommend you follow each of the concepts and strategies that you will see in this video. You should know that investments can be a tricky thing. The first thing is to be clear that the most recommended way is to start with an amount of money that, in case of losing it, does not drastically change your life. I encourage you to stay until the end of this video so that you learn the 7 smart ways to achieve economic independence. Let's go with the first, 7 smart ways to make money work for you, and that is Peer-to-peer -peer lending or loans between individuals The loan between individuals, peer-to-peer -peer lending is also known as social lending, or crowd lending also refers to loans between individuals without the intervention of a traditional financial institution, such as a bank. In many cases it is microcredits or small loans. So what happens? that the amounts can range from $300 to $100,000. Now, the objective of this type of financial transaction is to make it possible for people or small companies that do not have the possibility to access bank loans to do so with this method. So you must keep in mind that for this type of transaction, interest rates are a little higher, because obviously they are more risky for borrowers, okay? Now, how does this work? Well, the function is basic. Look at it this way, individuals or companies that have the capacity to finance or have the intervention of external investors, lend their services online or offline in order to finance individuals who need loans. To make it clearer, those who do this are those who are called private lenders. So private individuals or small companies go to these private lenders to obtain loans or loans that banks or traditional financial entities do not grant, either for debt reasons or because they do not have periodic income, they do not have a fixed income. The only existing requirement in loans between individuals is the balance with a mortgage-free housing. In few words, the guarantee has to be a property of yours, free of debt. Of course, obviously for all this there is also a risk control. Now, there are models in which the lender, that is, the person who borrows the loan, must present a guarantee to minimize that risk on the part of the lender. This is called in English, secure person-to-person -person lending. Most platforms, however, do not require specific guarantees to borrowers, but classify them according to their reliability, if they are reliable. On the other hand, in direct lending, the lender chooses the lender to who he wants to lend his money. So, with this type of strategy, you can start that project you have in mind, get that capital to invest in a project that generates profits. Have you ever tried, peer-to-peer -peer lending? If so, comment below and share your experience. Now pay attention to the next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, which is. Start an online business. You may have noticed that, the electronic commerce or e-commerce is growing as we would never have imagined, just like online businesses, mentors, in simple words, a lot of businesses are moving online more and more. And in fact, global e-commerce sales are expected to reach $6 trillion on the upcoming years. The sales of digital products has grown rapidly in recent years, according to some e-commerce news data. And my question is, why don't you take this opportunity? Buying on the internet today is so easy that you can do it from your own bed, from your own kitchen, from wherever you are, so it is not difficult to understand why so many people are using online services to make their daily purchases. Selling your products on the internet is an excellent way to reach more people, 
but obviously you need to create an online store or some website, a YouTube channel or another social network with a large following members would be ideal for selling your products to a community and close sales. An online store can open new borders for your business, you can sell to thousands of people in your country and around the world, and this sincerely will make your money work for you. I recommend that you start with small steps, perhaps just adding some interesting products that you have in your inventory, and then you can concentrate on expanding your product line and making your business grow through digital marketing techniques, such as email marketing, social networks, in few words. The advantage in this type of online business is that once you can reach many people, through your social networks, your communication channels, you can generate income without being behind a computer or an office all day. On the other hand, remember that this investment requires a lot of effort at first and strategy, because your final goal is to have customers and generate income. By the way, if you're enjoying the tips so far and want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button so I know. The next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, is. Invest in ETFs. I'll start by explaining what ETFs are. ETFs are indexed funds that replicate indices, such as the most popular reference index, the S&P 500, with the 500 most important companies in the world, the IBEX 35 or Dow Jones. Namely, when you invest in ETFs, you are not buying individual shares, but the value of the reference index, the value of, for example, the S&P 500 index, its total value. Now, pay attention, when buying an ETF of the S&P 500, you are not buying a single share, but you are investing in the 500 largest companies in the United States. This is a great advantage, since in individual shares, the values of the shares in the market go up and down quickly, which makes them volatile and high risk. But in the case of ETFs, you are investing in the group of shares of all those companies, which makes it less volatile and an investment of less risk. So, ETFs began to be used as investment instruments, for example, in 1976, and were created to imitate the total behavior of the S&P 500 index. However, the convenience and efficiency that these ETFs offer has allowed them to grow at high speed in recent years. So, what happens? The proportions compass of ETFs reached the end of October 2019, the 4 trillion in assets. However, for many analysts, this is just the beginning of the era of these listed funds. Now you may be wondering with all this technicality, how the hell do you invest in ETFs? Well, investing in ETFs is as simple as investing in an action, and with platforms like eToro.com, is easier to get started and you can do this without commissions. eToro.com platform is intuitive and easy to use even for beginners, I personally use eToro.com. There's a link to sign up in the description below. After opening an investment account in eToro.com, you can either go to a search engine to buy an ETF or buy shares directly. It should take just a few minutes at most, and you could either buy the Dow Jones or the Nasdaq 100, depending on what you would like to invest in. I recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest in ETFs. I am not a finance expert. Now with that out of the way, let's move into the next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, and that is. Cryptocurrency Mining Cryptocurrency mining is a proof-of-work process, which consists of validating and registering transactions in the blockchain, in such a way that new cryptocurrencies are produced or issued. Some define it as creating coins in exchange for winning them. In theory, this is a decentralized process, free of third parties and test of manipulations. Currently, mining is a highly professionalized industry and requires a lot of investment. That's why, and in my opinion, it is the least recommended option when generating money with cryptocurrencies, since it is increasingly difficult to find cryptos that can be mined in a profitable way without making a great investment in equipment. At the same time, if you have the resources to invest in mining, you are going to create money out of nowhere, so basically it is a very smart way to generate money. Now, if you want a more detailed video about this topic, comments below the word, mining and I will create a video where I talk about strategies to buy tools to mine cryptocurrencies. The next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, is. 
buying shares to earn dividends. One of the main benefits of investing in the stock market is the possibility of generating greater performance. And it is shown that over time the market tends to rise in value, although the prices of individual shares rise and fall daily. So what happens? The economies that are down, it is quite common to see the shares fall at least 10%, and yet these market lows do not tend to harm investors who have long-term investment strategies. Now pay attention to these two extremely important strategies, if you want your money to start working for you. 1. You have to invest when the markets go down. This is something that 90% of people do not do, that is why, statistics say that only 10% of investors in the financial markets win, therefore buying the lows and selling the highs is easy. But not everyone dares to invest when the values fall, since it is tend to think that everything will continue to fall. The same happens, on the contrary, since few dare to sell in the highs because it is tend to think that the values will continue to stay high. Most investors buy the highs in euphoria and sell with the fear of the lows. That is why, the best thing to do is to apply the second strategy, which is to invest in innovative companies. It is useless to invest in traditional businesses if the world is moving in another direction, banks, airlines, insurances, these types of businesses are very exposed to COVID or some other type of external element and have little projection. The world is moving in another direction, in technology, that is why it is better to invest in companies with future projection, such as cloud, cybersecurity, metaverse, renewable energies, e-commerce, etc. Moving on to the next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, is Investing in real estate today Many people seek to invest their money in real estate because it is almost always a safe investment and it does not require that you dedicate so much time if you have the investment. One of the reasons why you acquire a property is to rent it or wait for its value to increase and then be able to sell it, or remodel a building or build on a piece of land so that you can sell it or rent it later. To ensure a successful retirement, or at least generate enough money to have a better life when you retired from work, the government's pensions are not enough to cover all our needs, so the best option is to invest in a property to get additional income, thanks to the value of the monthly rent, the monthly salary they give you. This is more convenient than saving, since the interest rate in a savings account cannot be very high and it depends on the national economic situation, but it is also less risky than investing in the stock market, or metals such as gold or silver, since, unlike these the value of a building, does not change drastically, but it always increases over time. So look at it this way, local currencies can be worth less in times of crisis, however, properties are valued in dollars, you can take advantage of auction prices up to 50% of their value, and this happens when the property is guaranteed by a bank loan which, as it is not covered in its entirety, the property is embargoed, and the bank to recover its investment, auction the property. You can take advantage of pre-sale prices on new properties to obtain immediate profits when selling the finished construction. Honestly, you do not need to be an real estate expert. However, I recommend you go to a professional advisor, this way you can avoid problems for not knowing certain legal and notarial aspects, and among other factors that, if you do not consider them, can endanger your investment. In addition, an advisor can help you get the best out of your property, training you to have a free cash flow, as well as reduce taxes from other sources of income. The next 7 smart ways to make money work for you, is. Do trading in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency trading consists of operating on the movements that occur in the different pairs of cryptocurrencies. These fluctuations in price can occur in pairs of a cryptocurrency against the dollar, such as the BTC, the USDT, the Ethereum, etc., or between a cryptocurrency against another cryptocurrency. The main differences from investment are the following. First, in trading, operations are kept open for spaces of lower times. So, by trading we can get benefits, we can get a utility, whether the price rises operating in the long term or, as if the price drops, operating in the short term. Obviously, becoming a trader and understanding all this at first is not easy, but just focus on what other traders are doing and learn from them. Traders focus mainly on reading graphs through technical analysis. 
but the most common is to use other methods of analysis such as the fundamental, the study of news, on-chain metrics, and other indicators to evaluate the behavior of the price of an asset. To make money trading in cryptocurrencies, it is important to develop a strategy with positive expectations in the long term, manage the risk, and control emotions so that you can make consistent profits. If you want to trade Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, the easiest way is through an exchange like Binance, however, this can change if you want to trade on a traditional financial instrument. So far I've shared the 7 smart ways to make money work for you, but I haven't talked about other business models that you can start. Make sure to watch this video next, where I share more details on business ideas that never fail and can make you earn good money. I also invite you to share this video, with friends or relatives who are looking for ways on how to earn an extra income, this video could help them. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video and I see you in my next one.